This presentation will describe the OROA, short for Isotopic Ratio Outlier Analysis, methodologies. The AROA technologies are protected by patents licensed to next-gen metabolomics. There are two components to the AROA methods. The first involves using a specifically designed media to label the complete biochemical content of a living organism with an easily detectable molecular signature. The second component is the software algorithms called Cluster Finder that can easily find and verify these signatures and even more importantly remove all artifactual peaks which currently confuse and lead to inaccurate data interpretation. Almost all of the carbon in living things contains two isotopes of carbon, C12 and C13. Generally on Earth, C12 makes up almost 99% of the available carbon, and C13 is a present at approximately 1%. This means that in a mass spectrometer, a compound such as arginine, shown here, will have a base peak at 175.119 AMU, and a very small peak, called an M plus 1, at 176.122, that is approximately 6% of the base peak's height. The small size of this M plus 1 peak makes it generally useless for data interpretation. If the percentage of C13 is increased to 5%, note that the M plus 1 is significantly larger, now 32%. This peak can only be seen under specific circumstances and is quite diagnostic for the presence of this enhanced C13 level. Furthermore, if the C13 level is increased to 95% C13, the peak arrangement is now dramatically changed and the base peak now shows at 181, that is entirely C13, and has not an M plus 1, but rather an M minus one at 180. So if we put them all together, we can see that these three peak classes, natural abundance, 5% and 95%, can be easily distinguished. This means that the software algorithms can go through and identify if a peak contains natural abundance, 5% or 95% carbon. Furthermore, the 5% and 95% peaks for a given compound are naturally paired with one another in a way that provides a tremendous amount of additional information. As seen here, the fact that this molecule contains six carbons may be determined by the distance between the two base peaks and the relative height of the M plus one and M minus one provide confirmation of this fact. This triply redundant confirmation provides a level of accuracy that is not otherwise available. We have found that the constraint of the number of carbons often leads to a single viable formula. In the few cases in which more than a single formula is returned, the subtraction of the mass of the carbons from the C12 and C13 base peaks respectively yields the residual mass of the other elements. Since both the C12 and C13 base peaks share the same formula, the error on this residual value can be minimized by averaging the two residual masses. The method of stating mass used to aid in the identifications of molecules of similar chemical structure was suggested in 1963 by the chemist Edward Henrik. In a nod to Henrik, we have created tables of these residuals and find that they are quite often useful to resolve any remaining ambiguities. So how do we generate and use these unambiguous chemical signatures for metabolomics? We grow cells on isotopically defined media. Specifically, all the nutrients in the media are universally and randomly labeled with C13 at either 5% or 95% to create these patterns so that any cell grown on such a media will effectively show a complete labeling of its entire biochemical content if it's allowed to grow for at least five cell divisions. 
All biological compounds will carry a distinct molecular signature, and these molecules can be distinguished from each sample set. Experimental, grown in 5% C13 media, or control, grown in 95% C13 media, as they have differing masses. Cells that are grown according to this protocol may be used in two ways. In the first way, shown here, both 5% C13 and 95% C13 media are used to fully label cells, creating two populations of labeled cells. Every molecule in the 5% cells will demonstrate a strong M plus 1 peak, while every molecule in the 95% cells will demonstrate a strong M minus 1 peak. For example, the 5% cells may be treated with a drug and then directly compared to the 95% control in a single pooled analysis. Here the experiment will have a negligible sample to sample error. In the analysis, all artifacts may be identified as they will not have either a strong M plus 1 or M minus 1. This artifactual identification resu results in the removal of the vast majority of the signal, as the greater part of the signal is artifactual. One of the big biggest problems in metabolomics was sorting biological signal from noise. With AROA, this is no longer true. Any biological compound within the pooled samples will have two paired peaks. The peak from the C12 media is mirrored by a second peak from the C13 media. The distance between these peaks readily identifies the number of carbons in the compound. In addition, the height of either the M plus 1 or M minus 1 also confirms the number of carbons. There is a second way to perform an AROA experiment that is useful for biopsies or other situations where it is not possible to label both the experimental and control samples. In this case, the 95% signal with its M minus 1 may be used to identify its natural abundance equivalent by using the height of the M minus 1 to absolutely identify it. Here, a cell grown to express a defined collection of 95% labeled biochemicals may be mixed with a biopsy or other non-labeled sample, and the software will still be able to accurately quantitate and identify the biochemical equivalents for every molecule in the control cell. If a library of disease tissues or tumor types has been previously defined, then the tissue under analysis should fall into a previously known class. This is what the Aroa peaks look like. They have a characteristic U-shape, very much like a smile. Shown here, the number of carbons in a molecule can be calculated from either the M plus 1 or the M minus 1. Artifacts can no longer be mistaken for biological compounds. Using the Aroa technology, compounds are correctly identified. With AROA, suppression is removed as a source of variance or error. In addition, unknown compounds may be more accurately characterized. AROA will make it possible to characterize a tumor to specific tumor type more accurately and faster than current technologies. In summary, the AROA technique solves a number of current sources of error on current metabolic profiling platforms.